In the year 1930, vampires ruled the world and saw humans as their playthings. A human organization unites against the vampires, hunting the vampires and they call themselves the Jaegers. Amongst them stood a young man with striking serenity and an unusual aura. His name is Yuli, a werewolf also known as Sirius, whose home village was destroyed by vampires. After such attack, he promised to avenge his family's deaths by killing every vampire that stands in his way. Yuli and a team of Jaegers are wiping out a group of vampires, but the leader of the group, Kirshner escapes just in time. Shortly after, the Jaegers track Kirshner to Japan and they stay in the Nayal's mansion. At the mansion, Nayal informs the Jaegers' leader, Willard about the Hayako Party, a terrorist organization. He further tells him that Kiritake, a convict facing death row has escaped and murdered several people after escaping. Willard believes that the two incidents are not a mere coincidence and he tells the Jaegers to get some sleep as they will be busy soon. Meanwhile, Kiritake was rescued by a vampire royal, Agatha, who has an important role for him. The next day, Willard visits the police chief. He finds out that the vampires are using Kiritake as a decoy to kill people. Philip comes in and reveals that there has been a murder in Akasaka, prompting the Jaegers and police into action. Not long after, Yuli waits in an alley, where he encounters Agatha. They begin to fight, but Agatha escapes in a car, killing innocent people in the process. Yuli catches up to her, kills the driver, and engages Agatha in a fierce battle. Agatha gets the upper hand, but an enraged Yuli activates his power, making Agatha realize that he is a Sirius. He cuts off her hand and leg, she falls off the bridge. Just as he is about to kill her, he is shot by a sniper. Yuli wakes up in Kinsu Kanata's home, who nurses him back to health. Soon after, the Jaegers arrive and Willard criticizes him for going after Agatha alone. Yuli reveals that he cannot control the beast's blood inside him. Willard advises him not to let the power control him. Willard then tells Yuli to get some rest and instructs Philip to watch over him. Meanwhile, Kirshner mocks Agatha's pitiful condition and asks her to prove herself to their family by killing Yuli. The next day, Philip discovers that Kinsuk is working on an artificial heart and informs Willard. Not long after, Kinsuk tells Saki, his daughter, that he has successfully created an artificial heart. While Yuli and Philip listen in, Kinsuk's maid informs Agatha about the artificial heart, but Agatha kills her immediately. After some time, Agatha arrives at Kinsuk's house with a group of vampires. Philip and Yuli kill the vampires, but Agatha captures Kinsuk. Agatha turns him into a vampire and attacks Yuli. While Yuli battles Agatha, Kinsuk attacks Saki and Philip. He tries to bite Saki, while Yuli cuts off Agatha's modified leg. He impales her with his spear and pierces Kinsuk's neck with Agatha's blade. Agatha tells him that he is too late to get the Ark and she dies. A large explosion occurs, causing Yuli to check it out, but he is attacked by his brother, Mikhail. After his encounter with Mikhail, Yuli starts reminiscing about the days in his village, Dogville. While they were kids, Yuli went hunting with Mikhail and tried to kill a deer, but failed after sneezing prompting Mikhail to kill the animal. They bonded on their way back to the village, and the villagers were happy about their kill. Later that night, the village elder, Gustav, explained that with the Ark no longer in their possession, they would perish soon. Yuli asked if the Ark was destroyed, but his mother revealed that it just disappeared. Yuli also remembers the vampires attacking his village, in search of the Ark. Mikhail killed a vampire and ran away with Yuli as their mother died. Yuli is interrupted by the Jaegers and Willard, who try to cheer him up, but he turns down their proposals. He informs Willard that the vampires are in Japan to look for the Ark, and he believes that Mikhail is also here because he is drawn to the Ark. Yuli informs Willard that Mikhail became a vampire after saving him from a horde of vampires. He also divulges that he cannot kill his brother, despite his hatred for vampires. Afterward, Yuli goes out for a walk. He recalls the moment he activated his powers and killed the vampire who ripped his mother's scarf. Ruoko, Nea's daughter approaches and he shows her his glowing eyes, but she is not afraid. Ruoko confesses that she saw what happened at Kinsuk's house. He asks her to stay away from him if she wants to live. As he walks away, he remembers being rescued by Willard, who tells him that he will teach him how to live. The vampires decide to stop funding the Hayako party due to their reckless actions. The leader of the Hayako party gets angry. He kills the messenger and decides to hunt the vampires down. The Jaegers figure that the Hayako party won't attack doctors again because they have what they need. They still decide to split into groups and investigate both Alma Company and the Hayako party. Late at night, Kirshner, under the guise of the Alma Company, demonstrates their new weapon to the general, 
leaving him in shock. Ryako finds out that Yuli and Dorothea are going on a mission together and follows them because she's jealous. On the train, Yuli wishes he can meet his brother. However, he switches trains at the last minute after smelling blood and spotting the military, who are transporting the new weapon. On the military's train, Dorothea decides to look for the vampires, and as she leaves Mikhail approaches Yuli. Yuli finds out that Mikhail was the one that shot him although Mikhail intentionally missed his vitals. Mikhail tells him that he is too weak for revenge and advises him to quit being a Jaeger or he will kill him. The Hayako party hijacks the train, forcing Mikhail and Kirshner to retreat. Clarween is left behind with the new weapon. He decapitates the leader of the Hayako party, causing the rest to retreat in fear. Willard, Philip, and Fallen realize the train has been hijacked and go after it. They discover the train is about to be derailed, prompting Philip and Fallen to join Dorothea in battle. The Jaegers bump into Iba, and they are attacked by a vampire, but Ryalko kills the monster. Meanwhile, Yuli runs towards Clarween, trying to stop the abomination. Clarween attacks Yuli, although the machine refuses his command and starts acting on its own. Right after, Mikhail aids Yuli in battle and completely dominates the monster with his speed. He destroys the machine by sticking a grenade into its mouth, and before leaving, he tells Yuli about the Ark of Sirius and that he should kill him if he ever loses control. Kirshner and Mikhail decide to leave Japan as the Ark of Sirius is not in the city. However, Kirshner wants to wipe out the Jaegers before leaving. Back at Naya's mansion, Yuli informs Willard about his conversation with his brother. He also reveals that his brother knows more about the Ark and that is why the vampires need him alive. Willard asks Yuli to quit being a Jaeger, but the latter dismisses the idea, stating revenge is his reason for living. Iba confronts Willard's informant, Jiru, who tells him everything. Later Willard heads to the bar to find Jiru who was attacked by vampires. He gives Willard a note and tells the vampires will attack as his last words. Two vampires appear in the bar and attack Willard, but he kills them easily. He informs the Jaegers to prepare for an attack soon. Later on, while Yuli awaits the vampires, Philip tells him that he forgives him, even though it was a Sirius that killed his family. They bond as Yuli also confesses that he does not want to kill Mikhail even if he is a vampire. The vampires along with Kirshner attack the Jaegers, but they manage to hold the monsters off. Kirshner attacks Yuli, while Mikhail crashes through the window and attacks Philip. Yuli manages to rescue Philip by attacking Mikhail. However, Kirshner retreats after finding out that Jaegers' reinforcements have arrived. He instructs Mikhail to kill Yuli, and Mikhail attacks him. Mikhail explains the vampires were unable to find the Ark of Sirius in Dogville ten years ago because their father already left with it. Mikhail defies Kirshner's orders and leaves, sparing Yuli's life. Willard spots Kirshner escape and decides to engage on a fight with him. He quickly loses and Yuli arrives. Kirshner tells that Willard revealed the location of the Ark to the vampires becoming the reason they attacked Yuli's village. Although Yuli doesn't believe it at first, Willard tells him that Kirshner is telling the truth. Enraged, Yuli's werewolf powers and fights Kirshner. He gets stabbed but breaks Kirshner's sword and pierces through the vampire's heart. Yuli then confronts Willard about his involvement in his village destruction. Yuli resists the urge to kill him and asks Willard to tell him everything he knows about the Ark. Willard tells Yuli that the Ark contains knowledge and technology, which is why the vampires are after the Ark. Yuli decides to look for the Ark, but Willard tells him that Yevgraf is also after it. Later that day, Willard tells the Jaegers that they will not be going after the vampires as their HQ has sent another team to Sakhal. Upon hearing this, Yuli leaves the Jaegers and heads to Sakhalin. The following morning, Mikhail and Clarween meet Yevgraf in a cave, where the Ark is located. Yevgraf reveals that Mikhail's father hid the Ark in this cave, but it cost him his life, as the barrier protecting the Ark requires a sacrifice. Yevgraf further states that the barrier is impenetrable to anyone except Mikhail and Yuli. On his way to Sakhalin, Yuli recalls Willard informing him that Yevgraf might have found the Ark after deciphering the ancient Book of Sirius. After arriving at Sakhalin, Yuli discovers he is being tailed by a Jaeger called Bishop. Bishop approaches him and explains that all the other Jaegers are dead. He wonders why HQ only sent Yuli as reinforcement, but Yuli reveals that he is here because of the Ark. Bishop asks him to be his partner as they both have the same goal. Yuli accepts and both go meet an informant. Meanwhile, Mikhail decides to get the Ark and use its power to kill Yevgraf. However, he is unable to get past the barrier, and he attacks Yevgraf in anger. But the vampire stops him. Yevgraf knocks him out and wonders if Yuli will be able to get the Ark. Yuli asks if Bishop is a vampire due to his smell, 
but he replies that his smell is because he killed a huge amount of vampires. While talking, they hear gunshots and quickly realize that vampires are attacking a man. Yuli saves the man, but Tamara and Larissa attack him and enrage him for talking about his family. Yuli attacks them, and he is about to kill Tamara but he hesitates after looking at her. The vampires retreat after Bishop aids Yuli in battle, but they promise to be back. After the fight, the old man finds out Yuli is Alexei's son and points a gun at him, asking why he is there. The old man explains that he and Alexei used to be friends. One day, however, Alexei disappeared with the Ark. The old man explains that he tracked Alexei to Sakhalin, where Alexei tells him that no one will ever get the Ark. Yuli starts asking various questions, but the man tells them to leave. Outside, Bishop realizes that the vampires were after Yuli as they could have killed the old man if they wanted to. The girls explain their encounter with Yuli to Yevgraf and he tells them that he will join them the next time they confront Yuli. Mikhail figures out that Yevgraf wants to use Yuli to break the barrier and recover the Ark. Back in town, Yuli meets Ryoko and Iba. Iba tells Yuli that he is looking for Mamoru Asakasa the Japanese soldier that was sent to look for the Ark years ago. Bishop tells him that Mamoru is the old man they met, but refuses to tell him anything else. They all decide to go back to the mountain to meet Mamoru. Mamoru promised Alexei to never talk about it, but decides to tell Yuli after discovering that he's the last serious. Mamoru explains that Alexei sealed the Ark and made him promise not to tell anyone. He gives them the location of the Ark and they leave. The next day Bishop and Yuli head over to the Ark without Iba but he follows them because he remembers the location of the Ark. On their way to the Ark, Clarween ambushes Yuli and Bishop with his army of artificial humans. Willard and the Jaegers head over to Dogville, where they find an eye and Willard takes it, believing he will need it to open the Ark. They decide to join Yuli and Sakhalin to help him on his quest. Clarween attacks Bishop and Yuli using his inventions. He reveals that vampires are suffering from an unknown fatal disease and asks him for help. However, Yevgraf no longer cares about his work after discovering the Ark. Bishop and Yuli manage to defeat Clarween after his tank causes a landslide. They enter the cave and Yuli tries to break the barrier. He gets burned by the Red Lake and engulfed by the water. Despite activating his power, Yuli sees his father's memories and finds out that Alexei sealed the Ark to save his son's life. After seeing his memories, Yuli meets his father, who tells him to leave because he does not want to bother him with the Ark's protection. However, Yuli convinces Alexei, who gives him the Ark releasing a beam of light. Yevgraf notices and realizes the Ark has been released. Yuli gets the Ark, but Yevgraf controls Mikhail's mind. He orders Mikhail to kill Yuli and retrieve the Ark. Bishop and Yuli meet Iba and Ryalko. He shows them the Ark and Ryalko tells him that Yevgraf is waiting outside. Yuli decides to face Yevgraf, but Bishop betrays him and holds Ryalko hostage. Yuli tells him that he knows he is a vampire and decided to collaborate with him because he saw the guilt in his eyes. Bishop reveals that he wants the disease to kill all the vampires and Yuli decides to collaborate with Bishop to stop Yevgraf. Shortly after, Mikhail still being mind-controlled attacks Yuli. Yuli tries to reason with him, but Tamara and Mikhail are also mind-controlled. Yuli gets pinned to the wall and Mikhail stabs him. He takes the Ark, rubs it into Yuli's blood, and hands it over to Tamara. Just as they are about to leave, Bishop kills Larissa and attacks Tamara. Yuli continues to battle his brother, but Mikhail gains his senses as Yuli is about to die. He chastises Yuli for unsealing the Ark and tells him that he made a promise to keep Yuli safe even as a vampire. Mikhail begins to cough out blood and explains that the only way to override Yevgraf's orders was to infect himself. Bishop manages to get the Ark from Tamara, but Yevgraf kills him and retrieves the Ark. Yuli arrives with Mikhail and Yuli attacks Yevgraf, but he escapes with the Ark. While Mikhail and Yuli argue about who will go after Yevgraf, they are surrounded by vampires. However, the Jaegers arrive just in time and shoot the vampires down. Ryalko gives Yuli his sword and he goes after Yevgraf and so does Mikhail. Elsewhere, Yevgraf swallows the Ark and begins to transform. Yuli and Mikhail reach Yevgraf and realize that he has consumed the Ark. Yevgraf states that he can now cure vampires, but he wants something more as he seeks noble vampires. He tries to cure a vampire, but the monster disintegrates. He decides to test his bite on Tamara as she is a noble, but Yuli stops him. Yevgraf transforms into a beast and attacks Mikhail. Willard arrives and gives Yuli the counterpart of the Ark as it will grant him the power to control the Ark. Yuli joins Mikhail in fighting Yevgraf. He cuts off his limbs, but Yevgraf regenerates them. However, as the battle intensifies, Yevgraf starts to crumble, forcing him to flee, 
Mikhail carries Yuli while they chase him. Mikhail rips out the Ark from Yevgraf's eye, while Mikhail stabs him. He cuts off Yevgraf's head and he turns into ash. Mikhail gives Yuli the Ark and dies in his arms. Afterward, Yuli tells Willard that he is going to change the world using the Ark, but if the Ark's power ever consumes him, he wants Willard to kill him. This is all for this anime. Give the video a like, and I will see you in the next minutes.